Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Kalia Malcolm. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, April 16th, 2024. Now let's go check out our latest LSW short. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to fail. Ramaya, what's wrong? If I fail, I'll get, I'll get an F in her class to help get course recovery. Ramaya, calm down. Ramaya, you'll be okay. I barely remember anything. Ramaya, you thinking like that is not going to get you a good grade. Huh? Think like what? You're thinking negatively of yourself. Huh? Ramaya, if you think negatively, you'll do bad. If you think positively, you'll do good. Really? Of course. Now go ace that test. Okay, thank you, Jasmine. Jasmine, Jasmine, Jasmine. What? You won't believe I got a 94. See, what did I tell you? Thank you so much. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. No problem. Don't think negatively of yourself again. Okay. Amazing. Now let's go to Catherine for today in history. Thank you, Kalia. Hey, Patriots. Today in history on April 16, 1908, Utah's first national monument was formed. Natural Bridges National Monument is home to three spectacular natural bridges named after Hopi, Tridman, Sepapa, Katina, and Owachomo, all of which have formed over thousands of years by the erosion of water on the Cedar Mesa sandstone. But this park is also known for its family-friendly beach, tide pools, and its beautiful monarch butterfly. Maybe I can go there for a vacation. Now let's check in with Jasmine for today's lunch. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is Italian sandwich, potato wedge fries, red bell pepper, cucumber, garden side salad, fresh oranges, mandarin oranges, ranch dressing, and nocho milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is whole grain donut ring, fruit loops, string cheese, fresh banana, and 100% grape juice. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch menu changes at any time. And to let you know, you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Kalia. Thank you, Jasmine. That sounds scrum delicious. Tomorrow, 5th and 6th grade will have the chance to go to the Patriot Store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, please remember to keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And there's no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. And don't forget that you can only wear a school jacket or sweater. This Friday's Autism Awareness Activity will be wearing something bright, something spectacular, and that will be a tie-dye shirt. I can't wait to see your bright design. Our third annual lip sync battle is on the way. It'll be from 6.30 to 8.30. Join me in this battle. Just go to Miss Stone's room 189 or the back office for your permission slip. And if you are hungry, we offer food at the low price of $12. Guess what, everyone? This week is our honor roll ceremony. Tomorrow, second and third graders will be attending. Congrats to all of you that got in. If you haven't already, then go to myschoolbox.com to get your very own yearbook. Today, 4th and 8th graders will be taking their NWA testing. I wish you all the best of luck. This night will be truly awesome because it'll be at Anthony's Coal Fired Pizza. It is open from 3 to 7.30 p.m. Do you like prizes? Well, if you finish your instructional software, you'll get something truly legendary. Like K through second, we'll have fun wearing pajamas and eating some fluffy pancakes. While third through fifth and sixth through eighth, we'll get some good time playing some fun beach type games outside. These sound so amazing. Do you like to make people laugh? Well, we're looking for people to come on the morning announcements and make jokes. Just go to room 200. The funniest joke will be featured here. Do you think you can wow the crowd? Oh, and last week, our boys baseball and girls flag football had a game. I wonder how they did. Tell us, Aliyah. 
Hello, Patriots. Welcome back to sports. Last Thursday, our boys baseball team and girls flag football team had a game against Posnack. The boys baseball team sadly lost 2-5. to five. But the players that did their best were number five, Brian Soros, with his great pitching skills, even though it was his first time. The other great players were number three, Taylor Soros, that had a three base steal, and finally, number 13, Smy Vensley Pierre, being a good catcher. Now for our girls' flag football. They also lost their game 0 to 24. The players that did their best were number four, Skyler with the best offense and gains over 40 yards and almost scoring a touchdown. The second player was Anasia with the best defense and had 10 flag pulls. I know you guys will do great next time. Bye, Patriots. Zaya. What's up, Patriots? Today's weather is 84 degrees Fahrenheit with sunny skies. It's a good day to go to the pool. In other weather news, a rare water phenomenon was spotted in Alaska. This is called a bore tide. Bore tides are waves created by the seawater rapidly flowing back into the shallow water. Did you know that bore tides tend to be strong around spring and fall time? They also usually come out within five days of a full or new moon. It must be majestic to see this in person. Now let's wish your patients happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camilo. Today's birthday boys and girls are Jada Augustine, Luciano Garcia, Dylan Ramirez, Ariely Spavian, and Derek Nunez. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Kalia. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Anna, Miss Sands, Miss Reddick, and Miss Valdez for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was what, what genre of music did Taylor Swift start in? The correct answer was country. Now for today's daily, daily challenge. Challenge. David's father has three sons, Snap, Crackle, and who was the third son? Teachers, please send your answers to pinesatrenaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone here at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. Have a great day.